important thing that I learned is that writing isn't a process that you should be struggling with alone. And it should be an interactive piece that you have a connection to that kind of invites a conversation with your audience. And I think a lot of that was explored in our um, peer reviewing in class. And it's really interesting because then you get to see all the different perspectives and insights that other students have on your piece. And it really helps you communicate and learn how to um, explore your main ideas and convey that to a targeted audience. So it shows that any paper needs to have a good relationship with both your audience and you yourself as the writer. So it definitely isn't a process you can go through alone. One of the most important things I learned in ISP 100 is that language takes many forms. So speaking in a dialect is not, or writing in a dialect is not incorrect. It isn't wrong in any sense. It, and that really opened my eyes because I'm from Trinidad and Tobago where we don't speak what it's quote unquote proper English. So I feel a bit more included in the academic context because usually when you think of acad academia and academic writing, it's kind of, you think like you're kind of intimidated because it's, you think, you think it's this whole formal, it's so formal. So I think that kind of brought to my attention that even though it's something very formal or the genre of it is, it's a formal genre, that it you can take you can take your own spin on it and you can be kind of be yourself while being while like articulating yourself in a formal context most important thing definitely good writing is subjective and everyone has their own unique style and there is no singular correct way of approaching writing uh, and probably the second thing is writer's block is totally normal and in some cases it's inevitable so just don't beat myself up over it and uh, just try and start anywhere even if it's just jot notes. My favorite part um, is that ISP 100 generally has like a smaller lecture size compared to other first year lectures because normally um, first year lectures are very big because it's more general. So there can be like up to 100 students in a lecture alone. But in ISP 100, the maximum size is around 30. And so this is really helpful because um, there's more chances for meeting, um, getting to know your peers and getting to know your professors. And I think this is really helpful considering that first year, we, we all start at the same position and we just want to meet new people and the, um, and it's really good to meet um get to know the professor so that you'll feel more comfortable when you want to ask for feedback or clarifications with them 100 provides an amazing classroom experience where you won't feel left out you will be able to meet amazing students and you will have the ability to easily communicate with your instructors it makes you more confident in your writing and it gives you extra tools that you need for all types of writing especially at university i would definitely recommend this class to students as the small experience the small classroom experience along with the writing experience is something that is extremely beneficial to anybody even if if you are, say, in a math-based program, you will still need this type of knowledge as you will always need writing, no matter what it is. And this type of critical thinking you will need, especially if you are reading a problem or doing paper, etc. cetera. Um, this course taught me a lot of information that no other English or writing class has. And it taught me a lot of basics that I thought I knew, but I didn't really know. And it kind of just solidified my knowledge in those basics in which I really liked. And I definitely recommend this course for first year students, especially, or to anybody in general. And it's really helpful. It is something that you will definitely not regret taking.